Yo lo que te quiero es Pa' ver aquí al contigo Dejar tus sábanas mojadas Practicar todas las Luna, cosas my contigo Y yo lo que quiero Quiero romper La cama contigo Dejar tus sábanas mojadas Y yo por cada cuerpo de su camino ella no es psycho, pero pelea si me ve con otra Y yo me encojono si no tengo esa nalgota La gente de la gente no nos pensamos en la boca Si alguien sospecha que en tu cara La bella Hey you guys So I wasn't sure if I was going to vlog this Which I technically didn't But I'm gonna give you guys an update So me and my kids were leaving from the movies And we watched the movie Thanksgiving Because me and my son have been wanting to watch it It was like probably about two hours and it wasn't that bad, you know, it was something to watch. Um, it's like, well, a bunch of high school kids, but you know, something different. I'm not gonna like make it seem like, here, just wait. I'm not gonna make it seem like it was all that, all that, like I thought it would be, <laughs> but it wasn't like a bad movie either. So yeah, but y'all, Oh, come on, let's walk. Come on, thank you. Come on. I'm so exhausted and tired. You guys, I've been working. I got my work schedule today. I found out I work tomorrow, Monday, Tuesday, because I'm going to be traveling in the next three days. And then I work that next following day. And y'all, I'm just, if only you guys know. Let's walk on that street. Go this way. If only you guys know how I get through work. Like, I love my job, but it's like lately, when I'm like trying to worry about the kids, their nanny situation, paying the nanny, this, that, and third, like it just got me going crazy right now. Like, it's just like little life, like, it's just life stuff that's just like, it's draining me, I guess. This way, where, where are you going? Go long way. This way. And so, yeah, like, Right now I'm like so tired. Maximo hit me in my eye, so like I could barely see out this eye. And I'm really tired. I'm grouchy and I'm tired. On top of my kids, sometimes get on my nerves. So it just gets me very, very irritated. I'm just keeping it real. Like I'm one of the people I keep it real. I'm not sugarcoating nothing. Like this is how my life is right now. Or it could be because I'm grouchy when I'm really tired, you know? So I just wanna hear up a get back, which we're doing now. And I'm going right to sleep because we're have to get up early in the morning. That's why I can't wait to get my car fixed. But I just feel like drained because it's like I'm trying to do what I got to do. But at the same time, it's like I'm spending money because I've got to worry about nannies and stuff. If he has me on the work schedule. So like right now, I just feel like I'm just going through a lot. Like, But I just want to give you guys that update. And... I thought um, one of my kids' nannies, I thought was very, very nice because today she booked us tickets to go to Georgia Aquarium. And she booked it for tomorrow. I did tell her tomorrow because I thought I was going to be off tomorrow. But thank God when I looked on the Georgia Aquarium site, it says that they close at 9 o'clock. So that's perfect because I could just take the kids after work. And she was saying how my young one, Maximo, will be free. And Maximo never been there before. So I just think... I'm so thankful for her because she did text me saying that she was saying that uh, to hit her up whenever I'm ready to go, like what day's good. So might as well just knock it out, do all the fun stuff before vacation. Well, they were going on vacation, which is going to be extra more fun. But um, yeah, and it like, is it me? Because I know it probably is not just me, but it just sucks because like she was also telling me how my oldest play rock with my youngest and that's something i noticed too like and it do really really drive me crazy like do y'all have boys older boys that play rough with like the babies or like younger kids or do y'all think that's a sign of something like oh he's just gonna be active involved or something or just play around more kids his age because i feel like the nannies so far that i have they either don't have no kids or they have younger kids and some be like girls mostly and at daycare he's like one of the oldest only kids there and what else um 
I forgot what I was about to say. It just like he's like around like a lot of little kids, you know. But if you guys have any advice on that, because it drives me crazy, and I don't want him to hurt his younger brother. But he should know better. But he's still doing it, and it's just so frustrating and draining as a mom. So if you guys have any advice, please let me know. But stay tuned because I'm gonna vlog some of the Georgia Aquarium tomorrow. Don't mind if y'all don't really see me because I'm probably gonna have my work clothes. And um, uh, yeah, made the, a lady be the turkey. I'm not even talking about that right now. Do you want to tell them? Yeah. Thomas want me to tell you guys about the part where in the movie he turned one of the ladies into a turkey. I'm not gonna blow it up. Like y'all gotta see for yourselves if y'all wanna watch it. <laughs> but yeah, it was definitely a different movie for sure. Like the killings were definitely like different type of like ways to kill somebody i guess like in a like a very trauma way like crazy way but yeah so stay tuned because i won't be vlogging this will be uh i guess like a weekly vlog we could just call it then why not but yeah y'all i'm heading back i'm tired see y'all later and by the way massimo did great in the movies like he wasn't fussing nothing he didn't take no nap, but like after like he ate like some snacks and stuff, like he would just chill like the rest of the movie, like just you know had his sippy cup in his mouth, just like playing on me, like he would just chill the whole way, like so he's a pretty good baby. I'm not usually take him to the movies because he's been to the movies with us a couple times. Not something I want to keep on doing, but he at least I know like he did good because it was like you know the scary movie and yeah so i'm glad my baby did good update <laughs> hey guys so it is the next day monday fresh new week I'm so excited and um yeah so i just want to tell y'all about yesterday before i get started with work because i gotta get started y'all but i wanted to give you guys an update so basically, um, I ended up getting our tickets rescheduled for two days. So I'm gonna take the kids to Georgia Aquarium today. Um, it's a better because it's perfect timing and everything. And I'm actually getting off work a little early. So yeah, I gotta get into it. But we ended up seeing my man yesterday. He really wanted to see me before I head out of town. And he ended up grilling because I guess he's making food for his job. They're having like a potluck thing going on so he asked me was i hungry and stuff so me and the boys went over there we ate massimo surprisingly didn't want to eat nothing like he was just in a baby's world at the time uh but we ended up you know chilling over there it was a nice vibe i saw him do a tattoo on his sister and i'm like i'm next and i'll talk about that night though but i do want a tattoo soon so yeah we pretty much spent time with him and yeah, ate good food. I was able to spend some time with my man before I go out of town. I don't know how that go. But uh, yeah, so everything, you know, worked out good. Because also, we were going to be pressed on time. Like, you know, with transportation, everything, getting the kids. And even though Georgia Aquarium closed at 9 we still wouldn't have been, I feel like, enjoy ourselves the right way. So today will be much better. It's close to where we're going to be at. My kids' child care and everything. So I just figured that will be much better just to go today anyways. Plus, my man got to go back to work. So yesterday he was off, but today he got to go back to work. So yeah, today works perfect. And plus, it's the kids' fall break and everything. So yeah, I just want to give you guys that update. I tried to get a little clip of the food, y'all. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, I was so out of it yesterday. I was so tired, exhausted. And, you know, I was just kind of enjoying the moment. So I kind of, I guess, forgot to, like, get a little footage, even though it was on my mind. But, yeah, stay tuned for today's uh, snippets, I guess, at Georgia Aquarium. And, yeah, just getting ready to head to Pittsburgh to visit family for Thanksgiving. So stay tuned. Keep on watching this vlog. You saw it, Thomas? Yes. This is Thomas' second time going to the aquarium. 
And Massimo, I just picked him up from daycare, you guys. Massimo, first time. <laughs> Don't mind him, y'all. Look at his face. I just picked him up from daycare. But, uh, see, so, you know, now we got to find the entrance. Maybe that way. Like, Tom was so excited. He <laughs> ran away. Oh, there he goes. You see? So, wait, you can't see through there. I, I was. I was looking at uh -huh. Mom. Is it see through? With the boys, you guys. <laughs> Got off yes, work sir. early. Well, an hour and a half early. So it was a great day today. I had good food at work that they provided for okay. us. So yeah, with the boys now. And like where we stay at, they're having like a Falcons dinner. I don't know if the Falcons players are going to be there. I'm not sure. But I just found out today and our dinner time is 5.30, but I don't know if we're gonna make it back in time. But if we don't, I put on the list for late lunch. I mean, not lunch, oh, ooh, excuse me. Not lunch, dinner. This ain't the entrance. That's not the entrance um, for dinner. So we should be able to have a plate regardless. So we'll see. over there okay then we'll go inside we can do it now we got plenty of time we got plenty of time baby it's gonna be dark oh this is the entrance i'm gonna take a picture then we're gonna go inside oh yeah that's the picture thing over there i remember this is the entrance yeah oh Coca-Cola, but I'm sipping Pepsi right now. Thank you, Thomas. Uh oh, 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 Thomas, Thomas, he's gonna fall out. He's gonna fall out. He's not strapped. I'm gonna take a picture of you and uh. Good. 
They just chilling. <laughs> Say fat sharks will peacefully allow small fish to clean their jaws and skin. Wow. That's a whole family of them. And they sure stick together. That's what we do. I don't know. Wow. All right, on to the next destination. Massimo trying to touch it. <laughs> Alright, let's go see the sea otters. Here I come. Mommy's coming. Did you see the sea otters? Yes. Okay, I'm coming. Help me with the stroller. <laughs> I'm struggling. Ugh. Oh, the dolphin. Come on, Papa. Look at the dolphins. Come on. Look at my baby. He's just so fascinated with everything. Wow. They're really big. Go on, Papa. Get closer. Yeah, Massimo tried hitting me. My feelings are hurt. Massimo, hit, hit mama. mama. Hit mama. Mm. Hit mama. Don't say hit mama. That's not nice. Mm. You really hit your mama? Massimo, hit. Alligator, look. Alligator behind us. <laughs> hey, alligator. Look at that. Yeah, look at My two handsome boys are about to go in this tunnel so I get some pictures of them. <laughs> so I can take pictures of them right there. All right, go on, Thomas. Grab your brother. Go on, Massimo. Go with your brother. Take him, Thomas. Pick him up. So grab him. Go on. Grab He's him. Scared. He ain't scared. You gotta grab him. Grab him. Well, Marty came out like that. He did give up. He dipped on them. I'm like, where's my baby? He up there running around the corner. Oh, how cute. Y'all yeah, watch this. Here. Here. Oh, you wanna feed somebody. Hot Cheetos. I'm watching them. 
stingrays have a sixth sense uh, called electric sense, uh, so they're able to sense harmless movements uh, and harmless uh, uh, So even if they can't see you, if your hands are moving in the water, they will, they will be able to sense that. Yeah. Well, he can hit sure. Hey you guys, so I forgot to uh, show y'all a little clip of when I was in the grocery store. But I'm going to show y'all some of the things I got. At my job, I had got a Kroger's gift card. So I pretty much used it all on this stuff. It was a $20 one. Mass money with more diapers and loves was the cheapest. I just went with that for now. But usually I get on Pampers and Huggies. Got them this for the car ride. I got some candy. Me and Thomas. I got mask on this. I need some change back. They had a three for four dollars of the power rates. I was gonna get apple juice, but I felt like this will be better. And tomorrow in the morning, I'm gonna get Massimo milk and some apple juice. I'm gonna probably get some more stuff on the ride, but I know we'll have to eat food. So I just got this with my gift card though. That was gifted to me. So this is so far what we got for the ride. And of course, we're gonna have to get more stuff. made it with my family we're like hours instead of hours 17 minutes but i had to pull over because i had to get more gas and hey, y'all this pump is going so slow maximum's being fussy because they think i'm leaving but i'm not <laughs> but yeah why is it going so slow y'all like this is crazy i'm trying to get going guys we finally made it in pittsburgh and i am in love 
love with everything, you guys. I want to quickly give you guys a room tour. I just want to a little bit, but I want to give you guys a quick room tour before it starts getting, you know. So we're going to start outside. Let's get it. Oh, and by the way, the ride, the car ride was really, really great. Um, however, Massimo did end up throwing up. But besides that, he was a great baby throughout the whole ride. Like, he's a good person. And Thomas did good, of course. So it was a nice, smooth ride. When he stopped like three times due to Massimo's situation, we tried to get gas and he was in the bathroom. But, but other than that, it was great. So let's get started because I want to start sipping some wine, y'all. Three, two, one. one. They have a washer and dryer, the garage. And up the stairs we go. This is my first time seeing this, you guys. I haven't seen it prior to recording. I think this is the room. Oh, nice. This is my mom's. I don't know. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, this may be a bathroom. Oh no, it's a closet. Closet. TV. Cute, cute. Oh, this is the bathroom, it's so nice. So pretty. Got your mirror. Over here looks like another bathroom. Okay. Here's a room. Pretty, pretty. And a mirror over there. This way. I think this is gonna be my room over here, you guys. Yeah, this is my room. So my sister said I have two bunk beds for the boys and then a bed for me. So this is really cute. Really cute. Unless I'm using that bed for me and the kids, and that's probably from one of my sisters. <laughs> But it's so cute, y'all. I don't care. Period. And then I'm guessing this is a closet, which is locked. But this is really cute. It's really cute, you guys. So I'm about to own a wine, get situated, get Massimo a bath, sip some wine, and I'll see y'all soon. Hello. 
Hello. Ah. Bump. All right, I got it, Tommy. You got the baby. Hi, how are you? Uh, take one at a time. You got it? Yeah. Thanks. You put it right on top. Thank you so much. Thank you. The pizza has arrived. Our lovely setup. What's we'll me a glass of wine? So pretty, and we got Fox's pizza. So I'm about to dig in, y'all. No, but I'm about to dig in. Have me a glass of wine. All right, you guys. Pour me a glass of wine. Oh, Don't mind me. I feel like a bum, but this is like my car outfit. Mom, chill, mom, guys. Don't. I'm gonna take a shower, put on some new PJs that my mom got me. E&J, Apple. About to have a little sip of this real quick. Seven. Say, I love you, auntie. Say, I love you, auntie. I love you more. And then play with your cousin, cousin love. Massimo, don't hit. Uh, no hitting. Don't hit your cousin, Papa. Say sorry. No hitting. Yes, I took this lady. It's all over TikTok. Fish is full of You got TikTok? And notice nothing. You got your own TikTok? But I know you got your own TikTok. Like this. <laughs> you know, TikTok is out. What do you mean? All this stuff on there. Hey, y'all. Okay, so. Having a great evening. Had pizza, chips, sweet potato pie, ice cream with the kiddos. So good, I've been drinking wine, I should have ginger ale, good vibes. So before I hop in the shower, cause your girl needs a shower, I'm gonna put my new PJs. My mom had got all her grandkids some PJs, excuse me, some pajamas. So I just wanna show you guys, um, you guys didn't see what Massimo looked like yet with one of his PJs are on, but I'm gonna show you guys the other stuff that she did get him. So I'm gonna show y'all. So he has this black onesie i guess it's like button and it's by honest the baby clothing so she got him this and she got these for him at 18 months my baby is one his birthday was in august she got him this nice tan one i'm just so happy and thankful because honestly he needed some onesies and then he got it in white Saying the price on here is five dollars. I just love these neutral colors. He has it in this color, gray, and then he got some football outfits. I think he's gonna wear it tomorrow on Thanksgiving. Well, I don't know if he'll probably fit it because these ones are. Um, Say twelve ninety nine for Marshalls, and it's um oh these ones are eighteen months, so I don't know if this will be a little too big, but I'm gonna try it on him tomorrow at least. See, and if it is too big, I guess it ain't gonna hurt. But yeah, this is the stuff he got. You may see him. He did get his PJs kind of messy from eating pizza, but he looks so adorable. Him and my nephews. I'm gonna try to get some pictures of all of them together. But right now, we're just trying to get them wind down, and I'm about to, you know, get in the shower. But, yeah, everything's going good, and hope you guys enjoy that mini baby haul. Good morning, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> I woke up to good vibes. I slept good. Been with some comfy. Yeah, it's already yeah. smelling good. I smelled the green beans. So yeah, the turkey still setting. 
So yeah. The boys are still asleep. My nephew's seven and my son, they're still sleeping right now while everybody else is up. And I was talking about if I want to stop out later for Black Friday, but I'm not sure yet. So soon, I'll probably get myself together, fix my hair. Feeling good, just have me some wine. <laughs> First thing I drank this morning. So, yeah. This is the morning view. I got a nice daytime view. It's cold out, of course. <laughs> Wish there was a nice jacuzzi because I definitely want to bid in it. <laughs> We've been going through all the wines, you guys. Ginger ale, I love ginger ale. And I forgot to record, you guys, but um, last night we had sweet potato pie, which we heated up, and we had it with ice cream. It was so good, you guys. I kind of want that now, but I'm about to just heat up this pizza. I thought my mom said she was making breakfast, but I'm not sure if she's still doing that. But I'm about to just eat some pizza right now. <laughs> Why do they only be nice to the kids? I don't know. Because they're kids and the kids don't even Because they're innocent. Yeah. You want to stop tickling me? Who's going to die? Freddie, this is my brother, Mike. Look, look at the... Hey, everybody. I want to give you guys a quick update. My sister's making some yams, which I may try some. I've never really been a yams person, but I'll probably try some. And um, my mom mentioned something about us on baking cookies. I think like around six something. So we have like all the cookie stuff, which is peanut butter cookie mix. And the turkey is done. Looks good. Got the stuffing, which is one of my faves. We're going to be having ham as well. And the mac is currently in the oven. Maximo, what are you doing? Look at my son, you guys. I had painted my toes red. If you guys can see them. Let mommy see, that's garbage, Papa. So, yeah, my sisters, they're in the living room. My mom's upstairs. But, um, yeah, I cannot wait to eat, you guys. And my nephew, Seven, I think he's going to be coming back after he eats out dinner with some other family members. His mom, I believe, is going to be dropping him off. So. Yeah, everything's going good so far. And I'm just chilling, relaxing, sipping wine. And, yeah, you guys, I hope you guys are having a wonderful Thanksgiving as well. Thankful, be blessed, and hope you're enjoying yourself. Thomas is putting butter on the yams. Melania, I'm making the yams. Melania, look, I'm making the yams. Melania, you're going to eat my yams? Oh, I just put um some of the baby stuff crackers on there from um, Massimo earlier. Fussing? What you fussing for, baby? I think we got a tablecloth. I'm not sure. What you, what you fussing for, honey? Maddie, you fussing, baby. Now, how are y'all supposed to heat up that damn gravy? Oh, in a little small pot? Like, just pour it in a pot? I'm trying to get She's helping us figure it out. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to need that butter for the dinner, bro. Cheers. What are we getting dinner, though? Is she coming? Is Bert coming? I wonder, is there other people's parents that be complaining about cooking? I'm pretty sure. So we're not the only ever get fussy, too. It's probably when people are in their damn way. But yeah, like, most families have way kids more kids people. Kids. But it's not even that. Um, family members, they have way more um, family members at that. We really have like 10 people max.
Hello Wait for the amp, y'all. No. Sheila. Let's go. Let me see you live, Bob. My family is hilarious, say grace. but yet so hectic, you guys. I mean, like, I don't know, the Brady Brunch family, <laughs> like, I don't know, us talking over each other, moods left and right, like, it just gets chaotic sometimes, you guys, but the love is there, but my family is crazy, <laughs> and um, the food we just love it the way it is as you guys see we don't be going all crazy having all other types of foods we just keep it nice and simple it's really just like our tradition growing up honestly so we're just used to what you guys see this was amazing I loved it. hi guys so we are about to head back home to atlanta so i want to give you guys an update it is friday black friday and uh yeah we just left said our goodbyes and i just have to get maximo some baby wipes and get some gas thomas is crying because he's missing his grandmother already and i was explaining to him that she no longer lived here either she's just here for the weekend but I put in a family dollar and the GPS took me right literally across from my old high school. So I figured I'll show you guys it really quick before I go inside a family dollar. So watch this. Y'all, this is my high school. This is Sheridan area. And it's crazy because like everything still looks the same. It's crazy than family dollar. But yeah, I used to go to high school here. The maroon colors. Oh, they got a play. Thank you all for watching. Mwah.